All right, how to use software called Advanced Renamer. It's a free software uh, that you can download and this is used to rename multiple files at one time. And so it comes in handy if you want to add something to the beginning of a file, to the end of a file, um, or you can rename a whole file in the way you want. So what I'm going to do first is go over here to uh, a file folder that I already opened and I highlighted 10 files. I'm going to left click on this and drag it to this section here and let go of it. It'll put them in there. All right, there's all my files that I want to rename. Uh, I'm not going to talk about renaming folders, but it's the same idea. Uh, I don't think I've ever had an occasion to rename a bunch of folders, but I always have occasion to rename files, and this is the best program I've found for that. Uh, I understand that this was actually developed by Microsoft. You'll have to go on Google and look for Advanced Renamer, and uh, then you can download it, and you don't need to pay anything if you're just an individual user. If you want to help them out, it's 20 bucks. And so let's go to an add method over here and just choose new name. And we'll put that in there. And what that gives us is a bunch of default tags around the name. And so as you can see here, I already have these numbered one through 10. And so I don't need to uh, index them with a number. Um, but what I want to do is this is this is a bunch of uh, teaching from the Bible by a particular individual whose name is not on this these files and so if I wanted to add his name to the files then what I would do is simply go up to new name here and I would type his name in and his name is Andy Woods okay and then I would hit a space and then a dash and a space and look at this uh, now the new files are all named Andy Woods. This is the original file names, and this is going to be the new names. It's going to change the file names on the original file. It's not going to make copies. It's not going to move them to another folder, although this program may have that kind of ability. Uh, by default, it does what uh, I'm explaining, and this is the way I like to use it anyway, so I don't need that. Um, so let's say now we want to keep the original name. All I want to do is really add this name to the front of it. You go down here to the uh, default tags and hit name. And what it does is put the tag in here for name and it's carrying over the name now. You look at new file name, Andy Woods dash, and then the file name as it originally was, which is typically the only thing I ever need to do to these kind of files. So um, this renamed the files exactly the way I want. I'm happy with that. Everything's good. Now if it didn't have a number or let's say I wanted the number to be before Andy Wood's name, I could go up here to the new name and I can go to the front of that new name and I can put the INC space NR. That is an incremental number. All right. You add that there. Hit the uh, space dash space and look over here now we have a numerical incremental number added to the name of the file uh, just like it is originally but now it's at the beginning then we have <clears throat> Andy Woods which is what we typed right here and then we have the original file name which is here moved over to here and that's done by this tag <clears throat> in brackets called name I'm not sure what you call these brackets. It's not a regular bracket. It's the arrow bracket. But um, anyway, uh, I don't know what the technical name is. But anyway, that's it. Now, I like that. I want to hit Start Batch. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, start it. Gives you a chance here. Make sure that what you're doing is what you want to do. It ran it. I'm going to hit uh, Close there. Now look what happened over here. Now we have a bunch of names, Andy Woods in front of the name. Down here is the files we didn't change. And wait a minute, though. I didn't want the numbering system to be like that. What would I do if I didn't want that? Undo previous batch, it says. So select the job. 
we did this batch at 943. So we're going to do undo this list. The batch has successfully been reversed. Close. Look over here. My batch of files has not changed. It's back to where it was. That's what's fantastic about this program. It's a no-brainer. You can check it out and uh, do whatever you want to do to your file names. And then if you don't like what happened, you can go back. Thanks.